Welcome back to another episode of the SEC Sports Guys. I'm your host, Hunter Ames, joined here with Jason Lee, Coach Brandon Carden, taking a look at the All-State Sugar Bowl. Features Ohio State Buckeyes, the Arkansas Razorbacks, be played on January 4th at 8.30 p.m. on ESPN. It'll be at the Louisiana Superdome down in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, guys, besides the national championship, this is shaping up to be one of the best matchups of this bowl season. Terrell Pryor, Ryan Mallon, I'm sure, are going to put on a great show. Uh, Jim Trestle seeking his first uh, win against an SEC opponent. I think he's uh, he said 0 and 9. We talked about that before the show. Uh, and Bobby Petrino is looking to uh, to cap off an incredible season that they've had over in Arkansas. Uh, Lee, let's start with you. Let's talk about key players on that Arkansas offense that really have to step up in this game uh, against that stellar Buckeye defense. Um, they only have one loss, and that was coming against rival Wisconsin. Tell us about them. Yeah, I mean, when you talk Arkansas offense, everybody knows about Ryan Mallett. And so what Ohio State's got to do is they've got to find a way. You're not going to stop him. you just got to contain him. you got to keep his, his yards down. But some other, some other key guys that Arkansas has really relied on is, is uh, Niall Davis, the running back. He's, really, he's rushed for over 1,000 yards this year. He really came, really came out of, I don't want to say nowhere, but he did, this is his breakout season. Uh, so, but that's what's making Arkansas so dangerous is they've got that passing attack with Mallet. Everybody knew that coming into the season, but now they've got a running game to go along with it. So if they can stay balanced, I think they can put up a lot of points, even against a good defense as Ohio State. Uh, and, and Card, what key players on the Razorback defense uh, need to, to step up to contain this, this Buckeye offense led by Terrell Pryor that's a, that's a dual threat? Well, I don't think it's going to be the key players itself. I think it's going to be the defense itself. Uh, because if, if, if you're putting pressure on him, he's going to run. We all know that. He's got an arm. He's got legs. He's, he's got the tools. And if you get pressure on him, he's got to run. But if you see the safeties making tackle after tackle after tackle, that's a bad thing for Arkansas. It's going to be a long day. I think one thing to look at is it's, gonna, it, it's in a dome. So weather's not going to be a factor here. And you got two quarterbacks. you got the gunslinger, and you got one that can sling it and run it. And, and you know, with no weather thrown in, it's, it's going to be a high-scoring uh, game. All right, well, give us your prediction. Well, I'm looking right here. I'm looking at Arkansas 42 and, and Ohio State 35. I think Ryan Mallett's just too much. I think he wears down on Ohio State defense. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think Arkansas is going to put up all kinds of points. Ohio State's defense hasn't seen anything like this uh, all season. Uh, on the flip side of that, I, I think that Arkansas's defense kind of got a bad name a little bit, giving up 65 points to Auburn. But I think they're a lot better than that. They're ranked 34th nationally in defense so I, I don't I don't see them giving up a ton of points and, and in fact I don't I think this is a good game going in but I don't I don't have that close score that everybody else has I've got 41 24 Arkansas over Ohio State okay our scores are very close I have Arkansas 42 over uh, Ohio State 38 I do think it's going to be a little bit closer of a matchup um, I think Ohio State will hang with them for a little bit but I think that Arkansas will take care of it again that's the All-State Sugar Bowl January 4th 8 30 p.m. on ESPN